what's up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you guys today as you can see we are on our clash without walls account guys um all of our builders are busy because we've got to find what we can upgrade still and upgrade it so right now what i am upgrading is my gold mines and um my elixir pumps because as we can see i can upgrade i can upgrade this one barrack right here um, so that one's level 7. Are all of them level 7? No, that one's level 8. So don't think that we can upgrade. Oh, wow, well, we can upgrade those more. All right, so we need to uh, obviously be getting a lot of elixir now to upgrade our barracks. Um, one of the biggest things that we are going for right now, though, is our Barbarian King, as you guys know. <clears throat> but we need 10,000 for that. Um, why did I go to resources? Oh, no, he's under army. Um... So he is 10,000 Dark Elixir, as you can see right there. We've got 4,500, and I'm using all archers to do my best to get as much Dark Elixir as possible. So, um, because obviously that is a priority right now, is Dark Elixir, because I really, really want my Barbarian King. I want him really, really bad. Um, all of our defenses are upgraded to their max level. We can't upgrade anything else anymore. Everything is maxed out. Uh for this town hall sevens <clears throat> oh man <clears throat> sorry for this town hall seven so all we've got left to do is upgrade the mines and pumps and then some elixir things like uh is this drill max no so we can upgrade the drill so we've got to start working on a lot of elixir we need elixir we need dark elixir we don't really need any more gold uh, all of our traps and everything are upgraded but i'm gonna go ahead and go over some uh, attacks that i've gotten in the last little bit you can see these top three guys. These are the kinds of Dark Elixir raids that I'm looking for, okay? So this first one right here, I only used 87 archers, I think. Uh, and you can see his Dark Elixir is on the edge. So we just attacked him down here. We get an okay amount of loot from the mines and pumps. But obviously that wasn't the main goal of it. I also didn't deploy too heavily because I wasn't um, really worried about anything else at the time. I really, really do want to just get Dark Elixir and focus on Dark Elixir. Focus on Dark Elixir, grind out some Dark Elixir, guys, and um, just get our king. So you can see we've already gotten over 300 Dark Elixir right there. 324, we got all the Elixir available, so we can just head out. <laughs> right after I got it all, I just left that, and then we can come back up in here, um, go back to the attack log, and then we have this one, um, which has an okay amount of Dark Elixir as well. Obviously, this base was pretty much dead, um, I go ahead and take out that mortar right there because <clears throat> I knew that that mixed with the wizard tower right there would be detrimental to us. And we wouldn't be able to get in there and get exactly what we needed. So we're going to head up in there, take out that wizard tower, get the rest of these defenses. Um, and hopefully these archers, not hopefully, but they definitely do, obviously. They get into this wall up here. Um, actually, they stop and I'll go to the bottom. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> so they take out that air defense and then you can see that they get about 100... Never mind, about 50 Dark Elixir from uh, that drill. And then they are taking out all of this gold as well for us. And then all these archers are going to partner up on this one wall while some of them go outside. I have absolutely no reason why they ran through the middle of that crowd. But you can see that mortar is shooting some of them, but we are able to take out all of that Dark Elixir as well with all archers, guys. So right now at Town Hall 7, all archers is a great strategy uh, for getting Dark Elixir. And then here's this last one that I got just a couple of minutes ago. And you can see, once again, guys, uh, having all archers, even with a dragon in the clan castle, uh, still works. You just have to figure out how to deploy them. Make sure you don't deploy them all at once. Make sure you spread them out. Generally, what I'll do is I'll spread out a bunch and then go take out the splash defenses. So you can see right there, I'll drop off a whole bunch of archers to head over there and take out that wizard tower quick because you got to get it down quick. Otherwise, it's just going to keep wrecking your archers. So... We uh we do a good job of taking everything out up there. Now we've still got this one mortar up here, but you can see that I've spread out the archers enough that the mortars are distracted. And we're actually able to get our archers up in here and get them start working on that uh, dark elixir from a couple of different angles. That was the biggest thing, getting it from all the different sides. Now there was still 120 left down there at the bottom in that boosted dark elixir um, drill, but... I knew that I couldn't get that. I wanted to go after what I thought was the most full, which would have been the storage in this sense. So that was exactly what we wanted, guys. And it's those low, it's those slow, small raids like that that just add up. All archers doesn't take that long to train. You don't even need all of them. You can search as long as you're finding um, <clears throat> good stuff where everything's on the outside. And then let's go ahead and look at our defense log because we've actually been doing uh, fairly well. Let's 
let's watch some of these. So two of these guys don't even get in and take on our town hall, which blows my mind. Like, this guy has giant healer. Uh, no walls for the Giants to get stuck on. No walls for the Giants to get stuck on. And yet he can't even get up in there and get a one star on this base. Like, that's <laughs> it's just kind of confusing to me uh, as to how that happens. So he sends in both of his healers right here. And that air defense is like, <laughs> uh, no. I'm going to take all your healers out in six shots. Three each. They go down. A bunch of Giants just died right there. I think it was a bunch to that... Um, Giant bomb. And you can see the rest of these giants working their way around the top. Just going after the mortars, going after everything else. But we've got wizard towers. We've got archer towers. We've got cannons. We've got mortars all over these giants. Just absolutely destroying them. You can see they're going after that Tesla right there. They don't even get the Tesla down. The Tesla's like, excuse me, but can't you see that I have a lot of friends defending me? So we defended 311 Dark Elixir. They weren't even able to get into that. Um, and they only got about half of the loot as well with no... Walls, come at me. Come at me. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and watch these other ones. So let's watch this one with all archers, and then we'll watch that loss. There actually was a loss. Um, but we don't lose that much uh, resources from any of it, which, again, blows my mind. I don't know how it's possible without having walls. This is a really, really fun account, guys. Um, sometimes I do wish I had walls uh, so that I could just spend my gold on them. Um, but this is fun. It's interesting. I love getting on here every once in a while, checking uh, the replays, doing some attacks and whatnot. We definitely need to be on here a lot more uh, working on that Dark Elixir so that we can uh, get our king because our king is going to be clutch in raids and in defending. Like The king is going to wreck, wreck house in this when it comes to defending. Um, but you can see this guy's <clears throat> spreading out his archers. Does he even use his heal spell? I didn't see him use his heal spell. When does he drop that down? I don't know. His archers aren't doing so hot, though. Like, the mortar is just killing them. The mortar is absolutely crushing them. And there he goes. Oh, what a waste, what a waste of a heal spell. So you can see, we still have 200 Dark Elixir that we protected. And over half of the loot we still protected. So, congrats to the uh, Clash Without Walls account. And let's watch this next one right here. Again, guys, he doesn't get that much loot from me. Uh, wait, was this the same one? I clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, so, wait, or did I? No, I clicked on the right one. So he actually has a Barbarian King and a couple of Wizards. A level 2 Barb King. Let's go ahead and fast forward through this and see how this guy handles it differently than the other one. Um, so he tries to find the buildings he can pick off first, which is smart, before deploying all your troops. Because once that's down, uh, or at least close to being down, then you can deploy the rest of your troops uh, and just go after it. So he had some... Pretty high level wizards up in there, uh, just coming in to do some work in the uh, clan castle. Uh, so I guess his uh, his clan really likes him if he gets uh, wizards like that. But you can still see, guys, he's he's struggling. He's struggling to get up in the base. He does have 150 archers left um, that he's going to need to use. That wizard tower stays up, thankfully, and we've still got two mortars up, which are the death of mass archer uh, raids. The mortars just wreck the archers so much. Uh, they're coming in here from the bottom. Once again, the mortar is going to town on them. Um, 52, 42%, not 52. And there comes some more archers. You can see, again, the mortar is just going after it. But they are able to take out. Are they able to take out the town hall? Yeah, because the mortar, ah, oh, the mortar missed it by just a second, guys. Um, but hey, there we go. We're defending. We're doing good. I'm definitely happy with this base design. It's protecting my dark elixir for me. And it's even protecting the trophy. So... I'm pretty happy about it, guys. We are working at it. We are going after that Dark Elixir. And uh, we're having a good time. I hope that you guys like this series. Clash Without Walls is fun for me. It's hilarious uh, watching these defenses and whatnot. But leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace.